Yes, kama kawa the bus show back again bigger and better. Remember this is your number one spot show mahali tunaongea sports na our footballers yani wachezaji wa um, games zote pia ma fans ma coach pia na tungependa kuzidi kuwashukuru for the support mazem naendelea ku watch uh, video zetu pia subscription don't forget we really uh, appreciate and we ask kama uja subscribe please just subscribe and uh, you'll be blessed so today i have a, an interview with uh, a former uh, a football player of which ananda ku share experience yake na um, tunamjua tunampenda na tunamchukia pia at the same time so <laughs> usicheze mbali i'll be introducing my guest in the next few welcome Oh yes, welcome. This is a player you've watched. Umemchukia at the same time umempenda, umemshangilia. Let me introduce to you Kasaya. Vipi bro? Poa bravo, hambo. Poa sana. Vipi? Wa Kenya wanakutafuta. Ah, niko, ndio mimi hapa. Niko. Ah. Niko bravo. You know you are one of the many or few players wenye walitoka kwa scene ya bole yani tu wakalos. Waka ah, tukaenda. Uh, ni kweli eh uh, nilifika mahali bali ya Kenya jo uh, ikakuwa ni noma mm. uh, but tunaionea from afar tunaionea from afar kuna ipima pima kwenye uh, saa ime imebug ni bug uh, saa hii nazi eh hey, things are bad <laughs> si si mimi kwa hizo saa hizi jinge kuaje uh, hey, ni mbaya maybe kwa kwa faida ya mtazamaji labda kuna mm. Watu ambao wanakujua tu kama Kasaya. Labda unaweza kuji introduce tuambie unaitwa nani, mm. umezaliwa wapi, yani umekuwa wapi na umegrow wapi. Ah, mm. mimi mm. uh, naitwa Wickliff Odiambo Kasaya. Na nimezaliwa hapa mtaani, Pumwani to be specific. Uh, nimezaliwa nimelelewa kwa estate inaitwa Marindo Estate. Niko hapo Nairobi Makadara. Na hapo ndo nimeanza kucheza ball. Uh, nikiwa mdogo na tulikuwa na chazile maisa mm. uh, zone zetu za za, za uh, makadara maringo that hiyo zone mm-hmm. eh, hapo ndo nilianza kucheza nikatoka hapo nikaenda western western nimeenda shule inaitwa malava boys malisa nilienda kucheza ball poa uh, for the first time in history shule yetu ilifika districts final <laughs> for the first time in history nikikuwa <laughs> district, eh? district final uh-huh. Uh, district final by them sit kicheza ilikuwa kakamega district na kakamega district <laughs> kwa leo wanajua si si kwa jokes mm. tulikuwa na the likes of shamberere of which by the time our year yote mtukifika au ndio alichukua yes, yes. tulikuwa na kakamega hai mm-hmm. tuliwatoa hao uh, quarters mm-hmm. wakiwa na the famous Dennis Oliech kwa hiyo kikosi yao mm-hmm. tulikuwa na Musingu tulikuwa na Ngotse like the bigs the big wigs mm-hmm. wa western So hata Shambereri alishinda na eventually wao walienda waka wakashinda waka nationals ya. Yeah. So hapo ndo nilicheza cheza. Nikatoka uh, nikamaliza nikaenda directly nilinge tu tu football. Mm. Nilinge tu football ya. Yeah. So in short umetoka tu high school even now ukaanza straight kuigonga. Kui yes. So uh, maybe uli ulimaliza okay hiyo time ukitoka high school ilikuwa mm. when ilikuwa 2002 2002 Yes So um, high school ulikuwa unacheza kama keeper bado Keeper kabisa nilikuwa captain wa team uh-huh. na nilikuwa keeper at the same time nilikuwa anacheza my local my local club within here ilikuwa inaitwa Malava FC mm. which walikuwa anacheza I think uh, provincial ama national si kwa sure na nilikuwa anacheza nikiwa shule So hapo ndo nilianza serious football. Yaani in short umetoka high school hivi ukaingia Premier League. Ah uh, ama nikiwa high school uh-huh. nilikuwa nacheza national ama provincial one of the two. Kumbuki Malava Malava FC, Malava FC. FC. Yeah. Yes, nilikuwa uh-huh. nachezea. Na by the time nilikuwa namaliza kuna team zilikuwa zisha ni sport. Uh-huh. Yes, so nilitoka uh, nikaribu mtaa kidogo nikacheza coach Biro siku nimepata team kisign baada ya coach Biro Ah uh, kumaliza kwa Fibiro that was 2003 nilikuwa best goalkeeper na hapo nikapata coach wa security alikuwa anaitwa Fupi hivi alikuwa anaitwa 
Mr. Ujimaki, he was the first coach to sign for Securico. So when he was Securico, he was able to get the money. He was able to get the money. Yeah, so hapo security kwa ndio alikuwa anacheza national ndio wa qualify sasa premier league so mimi ni design kama ndio ameshia qualify premier league mm -hmm. eh hey, na wakanipa job <laughs> ya usoja ya usoja <laughs> nikaiga job wiki moja nikaweva job nilikuwa ni noma nilikuwa siku hapa mchana usiku kuna nilikuwa kwa Nigerian high commission eh eh anza gazo baridi ni mpiga wiki nzima nimeambia coach na mama mimi si zimemlemea Jadi tu kan tuh, jadi kan dia rasa semangat kaki jana. I think the reason ni wacha is because ni lipatan na approach tu kan kaki si university. Na walau kan aku ni pernah scholarship, ya kucheza dan kisoma. So because I wanted to continue with my education, ni kan ni kan aku kutuk kasih kiri kan ni kan rudi shule. Ni kan rumbu sini, ni kan rudi kasi. Ni kan fanya degree yang ni BSc na IT. Uh, ilikuwa four years but siku maliza nifanya three years uh, three years the reason siku maliza is because tukiendelea kucheza hizo te universities coach wa coach Shedu wa KCB aliniona by then alikuwa wa KCB so tulicheza KCB tulicheza friendly na KCB wako tu hapo karibu so Shedu akaniona sema eh mwangu ni kipa eh tutazonga eh unaweza endelea tu na somo alafu kucheza KCB so katika hiyo harakati Uh, nimesha chukuliwa KCB so nataka kusign nafaa kusign wamenichukua Friday walikuwa wacheza friendly Saturday nafaa kusign next week Monday so because now Thursday na Friday uh, Saturday walikuwa na friendly na Red Barrets hapo hapo tu so tukicheza friendly mimi nikaingia second half nikaingia kushikia hiyo game second half na Red Barrets so after friendly remember <laughs> na tie mokal pole sana jana jua hiyo nilikasirikia sana <laughs> tukiwa kati ya rakati huyo coach Mwangi wa Red Barrets after friendly kanambia boss tutakupea kazi ndio hii ngomba mimi nafaa kusema kesi bila kanambia usha sign uja sign <laughs> hii ni kazi tunakupea <laughs> na hivyo nilipa kesi hii <laughs> so coach Okal maana na ningoja <laughs> so <laughs> from askari rungu uh -huh. To Red Barrett. Karudi shule lafu ni Karudi Red Barrett. Karudi Red Barrett. Yes. Ulienda uka chorwa job? Eh, hey, wali nichorwa job. Vyo wako nichorwa immediately. Wali nichorwa six months later. Mm -hmm. But wali nisa yungu kwa team. So actually, hiyo season, nilicheza ya Red Barrett for like six months. Nikiwa raia. Mm. But nilikuwa na dinamba kwa mkwa nyumba. Dinamba ni... Unona ukienda, ukienda kutafta kazi ya polisi. Mm. Ukimbiyo wali zekila kitu. Hiyo ndo dinamba na poa. Hiyo ndo unenda na yo training school. Mm. So jua alikuwa serious walinipa hiyo dinamba. Yeah, so mimi January yeah, watu walikuwa naingia after six months lakini nilikuwa na dinamba kwa yeah. kwa kwa nyumba. Mm -hmm. Yeah so nilicheza Red Barrets for six months of which six months later nikaenda training ya yeah, GSU for yeah, a whole year. You are a trained GSU officer. Yes, a trained not a GSU officer, a paramilitary. <laughs> Kuna tofauti. <laughs> Paramilitary officer. Ebu niambie, niambie ni ya nae. Paramilitary ni ya kila nanya. Paramilitary ni ya unaona Red Barrett. Basically it means, I am a trained officer, I know the law, but again, I have the military tactics. Which means, I have a bit of military and police tactics. That is why it's called paramilitary, as combined. Sisi yuri ya yote tunasurvive, tunavuruga kwa kote, hakuna kazi na tushinda, So hapo ndani kuna VIP training, uh, VIP protection, uh, kuna uh, crowd management, uh, kuna law, kuna use of firearms. A GC officer is, I think, in Kenya is the only officer who can operate, if not all, mm. firearms. Unafumishwa kuoperate zote. Yeah. So ni nilaya nika train for a whole year. Six months, magadi six months uh, embakasi. Serious training. Ura yu natolewa yote. Yote, kamisa. Kwa hivyo, urajaribu kunambia leo, tukileta bunduki hapa tukupatie. Tuchukue ocho. Sinajua ocho. The other side, pia tumpe bunduki. Muna heza raruana mbaya? Of course, I use raruana. Because, hii bunduki ikona leo zake. Unajua bunduki ikona leo. Tumeamua tu leo, hamesema. Mwenye anapata mwezake wa kwanza muwe tu. Ah, ikona leo. Unajua bunduki. Kitu watu wa leo ni 
Ile brand peke yake iko na iko na na shilingi zake. Hata kuishika tu iko na iko na iko na list. Yeah. So yeah. from Umendo umecheza JSU Red Bulls then mm -hmm. from there. So Red Bulls nilicheza for I think 2 3 years. Mm -hmm. Alafu from there uh, which is a very sad state. Mm -hmm. In 2009 yo yo season ya 2009 uh, Red Bulls walikuwa relegated na ndio tulikuwa tumeanza ku build team actually tulikuwa tunatoa wale wazee so tunaleta vijana so people like us tulikuwa tumeingia kwa team mimi Gabriel Nduru Mudusi we are very young a very young team coming up unfortunately in the course of rebuilding the team uh tukakuwa relegated and then uh, what happened uh, thereafter is uh, the team was disbanded by by then uh, GSU commandant Mr. Swenje mm. sees him sahau ali disband team na tukaambiwa to report to our various stations <laughs> by then my station was in Trukana na kusema kweli singenda Trukana mm. si ati kwa sababu saki job because i i think hapo ndo sakari yangu ilikuwa imeanza kupanda mm. in as much as the team was relegated nilikuwa namba 4 kwa best one the best goalkeepers mm -hmm. in KPL ndio nilikuwa nimepata my first national team call up by then uh, coach ghost mule mm -hmm. alikuwa mimi nipea call up so mimi kwangu mm -hmm. kari yangu ndio sasa ilikuwa imeza kupika mm -hmm. so going to trukana will be a waste of career mm -hmm. so what i did like any other citizen will do i resigned sinaitwa ku lay down arms mm -hmm. na nikaendelea na career So nili resign nikaenda bandari Mombasa Mombasa uh, bandari ni resign for six months mm -hmm. Unfortunately <laughs> pia uko team ikavunjwa bado si kucheza sana uh, not kuvunjwa but sorry ku relegatewa bado yeah. tukucheza sana because pia alikuwa amesign mapunda mm -hmm. by then ukikumbuka goalkeeper mapunda mapunda huyo alitoka gor wa tawel eh hey, wa tawel mm -hmm. so tuli tukitoka hapo tukicheza na gor gor wakanisign mimi na mapunda the same two keepers from same team so mmetoka <laughs> bandari wewe na mapunda mkasaini wa goro mkasaini wa goro wote mm -hmm. the same year that was in 2010 mm. eh so tukasaini na mapunda a very good friend of mine ah tukacheza cheza goro pia kulikuwa kulikuwa na lot of struggle power struggle kulikuwa bado hawana stability mm. so tulikuwa tuna struggle sikucheza game nyingi sana goro ni cheza less than 5 matches because by then tulikuwa na best of the best so i can say kulikuwa na mimi kulikuwa na mapunda na kulikuwa na the famous god captain anaitwa Jerry Munyango so tulikuwa wote sisi na dude leo tunajuana hata mm. ukiangalia mazoezi nilikuwa mwenyewe mtu anashika mnamwombea mm. na vile bwe ninakuwa ni ukishika and then hiyo deni kukubali wewe mm. unashika hiyo season mm -hmm. so fortunately Jerry game ilikuja kumkubali na akakwenda anashika game za ligi mm. uh, mimi na mapunda tulipewa game za cups Mm -hmm. which was uh, by them ilikuwa DSTV Cup na FKF mm -hmm. FKF sijui tuko dot FKL Cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah so second leg of the season tuliletea coach anaitwa Luga Rusic. Mm -hmm. A very nice coach by the way. Sijui mbona but is a very good coach. Mm -hmm. So tukaanza kupanda. That year God ilianza kupanda like steady mm -hmm. na tuli tuli hata ligi <laughs> by one point kikumbuka poa ile game ya fika game ya fika pale city mm -hmm. stadium mm -hmm. so we had a very good team na tulikuwa sure next year the following year tul, tul, tutashinda league and that is exactly what, what happened, happened. lakini like, for me as a player mm -hmm. because i was not playing uh, sikukuwa na gain anything yes naweza kwa, kwa team na inafanya poa but as long as uchezi hautafanya kitu so we had a meeting with the coach coach longer akaniambia you are very good keeper uh, i'll be it will be so unfortunate that tuko hapa na uchezaji mimi ndo kupea choice when utafute team mm. so yeah so in the midst of that nilipokea simu kutoka kwa coach Pamzo sana soni yake ya soni sugar akaniambia aje ni aje muda wewe unasikia unatafuta team eh team iko hapa wewe kuja mm. because mimi it was all about playing mimi siko naangalia team sijui team iko ucha sijui nini mimi nilikuwa nataka kucheza cuz god ni almost 6 uh, months kwa bench tu unaona kwa ngati kwa bench jeri akicheza ni bench hizi kesho ni siku nyingine mapunda bench nyingine nyingine bench so sisi uchange ni tu bench lakini pale number 1 hakuna mtu anacheza yeah so even nilijipata soni ya wendo 
mm. very far <laughs> from Nairobi. Mi nazimu kijana mtani, mi lakini jwa pia ni mwesoma western, mm. na nili survive western, nika sema ni sawa. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, for my highlight of career, the best team, or where I really performed my best colleague, was in Sony. So the conservation was a hundred percent. I couldn't distractions out when I couldn't nini. Pesa iko. Pesa iko wewe kazi yako tuni yana na ugali mazoezi, ma fans. But you are hooligans. Ah, so you had a very good fan base. I'll go have my fans. Who's more to call that? I want a man. I want to talk about. Ah, cut a blue. Ah, I want a mapanga. Only my fans want to play that one. Hmm. Fans are not pity up on a mock. Kasa ya nukula. Hmm. Do you want to talk about? Ah, I'm school now. So I said I'm not going to tell you about it. Yeah, they are very nice fans, very nice. Mazuri ni kwa kula mara tatu kwa siku. Siku ya subuhi ni ingia tizi. Sahi ni wata kingia tizi na ingia nao. Mwakisha maliza jioni, hakuna tizi ni umi ni meingia, satizi. Na kwa yo kikosi mulikuwa na akina nani? Tulikuwa na Mimi, tulikuwa na Urush, the famous Francis Oumo, kilikumbuka striker. Tulikuwa na Kobu, Kobu na jona mjua. Na mjua. Tulikuwa na, na, na Uchieng, uh, fullback, saizi I think he could lose or something. Tulikuwa na very young squad. Actually the, 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 the experienced players ilikuwa ni Mimi, Wanyama, Sylvester Wanyama, na Marwa Chamberi. The rest walikuwa young boys. And it was a very nice squad. So six months into Sony, <laughs> bitu zilichachia Pamzo, tukua tunafa na poa sana. Tukwa jipata huku chini kwa relegation. Fadia kwa mpeleka timu relegation? Uh, ali resign before. <laughs> ali resign, ali resign, haka sema juu yukua, yukua noma. Ali kwa shawa fikisha relegation ya <laughs> resign. Waka resign. Wacha kukavara. Ali kwa ni. Because tu, 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 my way, tulikuwa tunaji. Hey, tulikuwa tunacheza ndimu vana. Lakini huku chini. Najua, mna yaza cheza ndimu ndiyo, lakini msema kweli ni nduali. Sami aliona. Mamzo alipima kama hapa. Timu itashuka. Na ataki kushuka na timu. So ya li resign. Aka atuwa chianguri. Tukanetewa the famous coach. Sayi coach wa KCB. Ziko. Ziko mwenyewe. Ziko wa kudia kasema mimi ni kudia kutafita performance. Sia kujia jokes. Na true to his word. By the way, by the time we got to Malaysia League, because the whole season we got 18, we got 16 teams. So we got 13, 14, 15, 16. Evo, 16, 15, 16, 15. By the time we got to Malaysia League, we got Malaysia League number nine from relegation, number nine. Na to survive in the last match, to keep the bandari two nil. Na Arita, kwa una kumkastroika, mose Arita. Eh. Alikuwa very crucial kwa yu team. So tulimaliza ligi namba nine. Na hiyo ni nipata my first accolade. Second runners up best goalkeeper. KPL nini. Na hiyo time di pia nilipata call up ingine. By then kilikuwa coach Adele. Amrosh. Hiyo ni pia time nilipata my haters wengi. Because zonye nilikuwa na kazi ya gor. Kuna gini ya uzo ya gori huko Kasarani Awende wa Haa awende Uka wakazi ya niko wa shidi udini Wae babi biligi ya moende Lakini ya uwezi wa chini Wajwa pia siti na sango luku chini So waliko wazi makasa Awe ni wetu wini tumekujenga Haa mini kwa job Nisi tabuti yo So mafansu wengi ya gori Walikasarika na mimi Siku juwa menichorea Tukapata na FKF Kap semifinal Kasarani Kumbu Badu, badu, badu tu niliwakazia. Na hili kwa badu, nikuwa na wakazia na nachenga maka masreka wawo. Na kumbuka, mwendo ya likuwa kukuja na mchenga, sere mkuma na mchenga na mimi kipa. Vitu zangu zangu, zili kwa vitu zangu, vitu zangu. Eee, alafu, tukenda wa penalti. Ma penalti, vile lienda, I think, tulilose pena tatu, mjua nilisave pena mbili. Sina hitu kwa lose tatu. Game ikaisha. Miku misi juma fans wame ni chorea. Mazo walikuja wajwa wakangia grao wakani chapa. Lakini mi pia nini? Nilikuwa na mbio. Pia na nana nana nana. Nilikuwa na mbio. Nilikuwa na mbio. So usiku chapa sana but nilijitoa. Nilikuwa na mbio na kwa nilipata mjari ya kidole. Hata sonu walikuja wakani lipa because of that. Yeah. So nikitoka sonu nilikuwa hata very high pick. Nilikuwa one of the best goalkeepers uko juu. 
Jerry, Mimi, Uburu tulikuwa hapo on who was who kwa kwa makipa. Mm. So hapo ndio FC walikuwa pia wana wanafanya poaching, taking the best of the best who is who. Mm. So FC wakani wakani buy hapo from Sony. Mm-hmm. Na kumbuka bado nilikuwa na running contract Sony, but FC walituma watu ku negotiate mm. mazee tunataka huyu mchezaji. So mm. mimi nikaenda FC. Mm-hmm. FC ilikuja pia na good tidings because by then walikuwa kuna Mumias and the life was everyone wanted to play for FC. So FC ilikuja lazima ndefikiria mara mbili hiyo immediately. Pia kule Sony ilikuwa ushago. Ilikuwa ushago mtaani pia nimerudi ya. So uh, FC ilikuwa a very good deal. Nika say now. Uh, the another best thing was FC kuna my best keepers. Kulikuwa na Matasi by then was number one then kulikuwa na anaitwaje huyu mfupi anaitwaje uh, um, Musalia. Musalia then sasa mimi mm-hmm. so tulikuwa another three best keepers mm-hmm. sasa nikasema eh inaweza kwa city kama ile ya gor <laughs> lakini hapana hii lazima hii <laughs> lazima ipambane mm-hmm. so ni nimeangana and uh, to my surprise mimi mm-hmm. nilikuwa nilikuwa mm-hmm. ngave eh, nilikuwa first choice oh, like almost all the games nilikuwa first choice so mm-hmm. na fc tulishinda tulishinda FKF Cup tuka qualify kucheza confederations I think you trophy your last wow jamaa FC kushinda yeah I guess very sad so <laughs> and the fortunate part I'm the unfortunate part mimi nikiingia ile time nilikuwa FC <laughs> gore kwa jeti shinda not even one game mm tulishinda gore games wote na hiyo kwa ti 1 0 3 yani wale wale season FC tulikuwa tunaimba wende 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 swara ya gore kwani ah yani nasema ni na compare ni sahihi na sahihi leo sasa hivi basi ni si na pigo left right center wa shanga na god bana bana wote wao hizo ni zinda wa mimi hizo ni zinda babu mwisho ni fc babu ya mwisho kushinda lilini bana wajaishinda exactly so ile ile season ile season tulikuwa tuna gore kwa walima ya ukweli si ya jokes three na kubwa kuna game tu ya funga 3 1 na bado kuchengwa juu yake. Mm. So ilikuwa very good season because uh, uh, tulienda confederation tukaenda tuna super sports mm. katufunga 1-0. Ah tulianza na defense force ya Ethiopia tukawafunga home and away. Mm. Kikosi FC ilikuwa moto lakini timu za Kenya zinakuwa nga hivyo. Ile nini ya kwanza wanashinda. Kikosi FC tulikuwa very ma, a very mature tulikuwa na kikosi. Kwanza Gormaya ametuletea hivyo mingi Kenya hii. <laughs> tulikuwa na kikosi moto sana. Mm. So hata hiyo season tulimaliza league <coughs> number 2. Mm. Yeah, so tukaenda the next season sasa. 20 I think it was 2014. Mm. Masaibu zikaanza. Na Masaibu zilianza siku ile Mumias wali walijitoa. Wali withdraw sponsorship. Wali sponsorship. Mm. So just like any other team tulikuwa tumezoeshwa vinono vinono. Sasa vinono vinono. Sasa kulala njaa. Sasa tumeanza kulala njaa. <laughs> so the unfortunate thing is whatever you had saved throughout that year. Yes. Ni sasa kwa sababu unatumia. Hiyo ndio fare yako, hiyo ndio rent. I can tell you for the whole year atukulipa hata bop. Yaani ile mimi zaidi kianza ku die FC. Wacha tu. Unaweza madai, tutafanya juice. Ah, hatuwezi wa die FC. Juice ya die Zacton pro bon. FC ni timu ya home hatuwezi wa die. But uh, but tuliteseka sana uh-huh. so many fans wa juangi but as players we really struggled mm. ilifika time mimi sasa mimi hata sasa a a wacha tu bodi hapo ndo mimi nitaka kutusha mkono mm. in fact i think hapo ndo mimi nilirusha mkono mm. nikasema mimi na wacha ball na nikaenda if sio kwa jesus juu ya sofa park mimi sikuenda mm. na ndio mafanzo akaanza kunika shifu nika tu sio hapo because imagine for seven months which is angatu mpira ya makofi mpira ya makofi mpira ah mimi niliwacha nikamwambia sasa mimi kama mtaenda nyingi lakini mimi naweza ninyi njoo na kwa kile ambacho kuna mwisho wake mimi i think nimefika mwisho wangu na by the way mpaka sasa hii hawana pesa bado imagine ah, lakini wako wamepata wamepata betika wamepata betika bana betika wana pesa mimi nakwambia i know eh yeah. mm. <laughs> wako na betika yeah. so ika kwa sometimes there is passion mm-hmm. but hautakula passion hautapea yeah. hautapea landlord passion <laughs> Na mimi na kuona kwa super sports ukijana anatokea kwa gazeti umetokea hapo nyuma nini ye. na hata hiyo time tulikuwa na Liberus as coach mm. alikuwa anatuambia kama uwezi unajua nyewe umekufikia mwisho we ka home mimi sita ku blame mm. so tulijaribu for a whole like i remember six months so hiyo mid season 
there are so many players who left. left yeah. Kina Situma, Wanga, Nani. Some of us to be back. Tukasema, hey, Nani na kumbuka ni kona campaign, hata kwa radio station. Jama msiende, tuna hope sponsor ya takuja. Na hata wa doso wa mituambia, watalita sponsor. Wee, hey, shoko nas. <laughs> sponsor walikuja. <laughs> Hai. Tujua na moto. <laughs> So it was a, it was unfortunate mimi nilifika mwisho. Mm. Nikarusha mkono nasema liwere. Uh, so uzuri kuna coach Mali aliniona. Mhm. Mm uh, Muitaliano wa wa Nakumat. Mhm. Mm Kanambia Buda bali akakuwa hao. Mm. Kuja tu cha pay league hapa. Nikamwambia lakini mimi ni expensive. Mm -hmm. Ina mashida mingi sana mimi ni expensive. Mm -hmm. Ndani ya fund. Mhm. Ah uh, ukweli Nakumat alinipea deal poa. Mm -hmm. Na I think I pondu pia mimi as a person ilenza kuthink. Now I started thinking forward like, eh, hey, by the way, Buda ni kubaya. Mm. After one year, bila day, mihijwa ni kubaya. Mm -hmm. So, sayo na kumatu wali niita, ndo sani kaza kufikiria. Now there is life after football. Mm -hmm. This is a chance. Buda patangi mtu chance mingi. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, apondu ni kaza kuchipanga. Na kumatu gave me a very good uh, deal. Mm -hmm. Wakani pia dupoa. By then, they are one of the highest paid players. Niko nation web, lakini hakuna kama mtu mbaya. Unasumbua hapa inyo. Ah, 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 pesu kwa nasumbua. Hapo nilikuwa nijia kuwa mjanja. Anu kikutana na player ah. FCA, melala njao na mbia ni aje bro. Hapo nilikuwa nijia kwa mjanja. Shika miambili yako. Nilikuwa nafanya vitu zangu. Yeah. Na invest, na nino ma assets. Yeah. Zile mbaka sa hizi. Hizi ni nino nikiwa na kumat. Mm. Jiwa na survive nazo. Zina ni sustain. Mm. Yeah, so na kumat fears kucheza for long. Nicheza for six months. Uh, madare ni kaona hili ligia chili ni noma mm -hmm. So madare wakani hita ni likuwa nisha settle Nisha financially nisha jistablish jipanga. Nisha jipanga So ni kasa mata ni rudi prima ligia kucheza tuli ya kujibamba mm -hmm. Kacheza one year So for paka wakani hita Kasa mai retirement benefits niweza kata Nikenda so for paka hapo nilimalizia karia uh, So for paka hapo ya tukumaliza na vizuri Because uh, walikuja waka, waka interfere na contract Na nilikuwa na lawyer mungine atari. Mm. <laughs> eh, God rest her soul. Manzee ya likuja kaniokolea mm. na ideas. Mm. Alikuwa na mdirect tu. Nitu wa Monica Bintingere. Mm. Ile mdirect tu wana kuja ala ni advice. Fanya hivi, fanya hivi. So salimu ni su, su wafapaka. As a person, nilienda peke angu. But behind me nilikuwa na some advisors. Mm. And she was one of my main advisors. Mm -hmm. And because of the advice, the Lishindo case, Bila lawyer, like I was not represented, I represented myself. Mm -hmm. Despite so far, Paka Kukona, two lawyers, Bila player status. Mm -hmm. So, Nika present case yangu, Waka present, Nika Shinda case, mm -hmm. Wanilipe, Waka appeal, uh, Kwa appeal, Waka Nima release, and I think upon the Lirusha Mkono, Nika Sema, Mimi na football ya Kenya. Mm -hmm. Menawa, tani fuatei pesa yangu. So, fapaka wali kuchuja? Yes. Of which you could bridge contract. Then why were, you de were they denying you the, the release? Because washa kuchuja? Because when they realized nimesha wasu, mm -hmm. wali kuwa wanasema awajani, awajani chuja, that is the reason awajani pay release. And that is how we listen to your case. Nambona ukurudi kuendalea kucheza kama ukuchuja basi? Wewe, wewe uku kwa team. Kocha kutaki, eh. <laughs> Na wakupati release, ofisi kupati release. Kocha kutaki, nani alikuwa coach wa hiyo utai? Ilikuwa baraza, na ikuwa nye, of course kulikuwa na some forces behind. John, John, baraza, eh, bari. Okay. But, hata ya najua, because yon do season. Kulikuwa na pressure. Eh, eh, si, utakuwagi uta ati, ati, ati umecheza game. Karibu season yote, eh, three quarter games zako ni clean sheet. Mm. Alafu na mboja perform. Mm. Nunu piga clean sheet three quarter. Mufikisha team baka finals za, za FKF Cup. So, nini shindio kisi raisi sana. Mm. Raisi bila lawyer. Nikiwa tuna advice to on how to approach it, but siku kuwa na lawyer. So, waka appeal, uh, badu ya appeal, <laughs> nika shinda kisi. Yeah, waka so, kuwa. So, ulilipwa? So, badu tunafatilia tuko kenya. <laughs> Kenya. Sija, siku lipua. Au uh, jalipua? Jalipua, but, uh, yeah, bado nafuatilia. Sija give up. But kuna probability. Kuna lipua. probability ya lipua, ya. Because bado ni konele ruling. Ni konele ruling. So, tulikana presida chini. 
kanambia sasa ana kitu lakini akipata ndoa atanilipa tuuze tuuze timu yake tu tuliongea as gentlemen hata mimi ka understand <laughs> because ana kitu papaka inaweza kuwa worth around 20 million <laughs> so yeah so <laughs> So presda presda fanya maneno ba hata sisi tupate kati yetu. So so hapo ndio niliachia bodi ya Kenya. Na kongwe kule Mungu tangu nina wivo niliwacha nikawacha kama wako zetu to my family na bize ishara zangu na vitu zangu sasa. So na watu mikono yani ukaenda ukiendanga. Naoneanga tu kwa TV na kwa gazeti. That is how much uh boli leni hurt. Do you regret uh, going for retirement that early um yeah sometimes i regret because na, na miss kucheza unajua hiyo tulikuwa kwa damu tangu nilikuwa mtoto iko kwa damu but the fact that sisi cheza mm. ilikuwa inanyumiza sana but now what do i have to do na life lazima iendelee unajua life na inaendelea life tayari kujua ati ismami na kongoja mm. so yes i regret but now what choice do i have Oh. Now during your playing time um, mm. kuna mafans walikuwa na feel despite your performance uh, mm. ulikuwa na maringo sana. <laughs> Ai kwa maringo I think uh, ilikuwa style of play yangu. Um, to me that was my my area of jurisdiction. Na kila mtu anafanya what you love in your area of jurisdiction. Football is more of entertainment. Mm. Yes kuna kukaza na nini na kupata point. But pia kuna damu lipa pale wako entertained mm. and uh, that is why ukiangalia kina Cristiano vitu wanafanya kina Messi mm. <coughs> football is more of I think for me football is more of inafa kwa entertainment na wewe kama entertainer pale si you do your thing mm. na sikuanzia hapo ask wale tulikuwa nao my lover boys I ask all through that is how I used to play you kuchukua ball kuzungusha nini hizo tulikuwa tunafanya tu watu watatu we can I think no makipa tulikuwa tunafanya hizo so, actually tuko waine mm. mimi Eh Otamax I think ndio pia alikuwa mtu nilimuona kicheza akifanya hizo vitu. Ndio mm. nikaona ah kumbe eh Boni <laughs> na nani na Victor Nyango. Victor Nyango. Tuko wao ni tu kwa mzima wa kwa hakuna makipa wakipo wafanye vitu bana. Mm. Shika ball zunguni iko nini? <laughs> Bora ni solution na nani? Wewe kama wewe kama mchezaji mm. uh, do you support time wasting tactics? Mimi kama mchezaji mm. I need na nataja si time wasting tactics <laughs> inaitwa time management <laughs> time management unajua <laughs> hiyo ndio ndivyo ukapigwa kasarani kasarani ni kuchenga kwa hiyo game ilikuwa na watch and i think ilikuwa draw yeah tulikuwa na wana pressure wewe ushashika ball una ball inakuja unazunguka nayo na inaitwa time management Uh, time management as in can be for you or against you depends on which side you're looking at it. Ungeuliza mm. mafans wa Sony walikuwa na furaha hapo walikuwa sawa. Hata ungekuwa ndio ana hiyo round si nikiwa gor nikicheza ya gor season ya 2010 the first derby gor na FC my first derby ever. Tukiwa down nine men nakumbuka aliabonda kipata red and then Adia Mumia. So tulikuwa wachezaji tisa. Mm. FC hapo mbele wako na wewe wanga na baraza alafu hapo nyuma kuna sijui yule kijana mfupi Salim unamkumbuka Salim yule alikuwa TZ MTZ alikuwa kiza namba 10 yani sio alikuwa anakuja kukuja na sio tuko down mafanzo ni gari mkuzua huko gari dini hizo jioni yetu na wanaona ni kama tutakula 10 eh tukambie mafanzo mimi na na dube tulieni wacha tufanye mambo yetu tulie kasa hiyo jina hiyo ndio binaambia si mwambie tulie relax sasa hiyo nafanya bas time management na tuli manage time hiyo game ni shanil nil so walikushangilia hiyo time unafanya fc exactly wakati kasoni sasa wanajam aje sasa wanajam aje sasa not forgetting that <laughs> ilikuki kwa <laughs> kwa nguruwe mtamu sana anyway yeah. tunawajua hawa watu wa god tunawajua <laughs> so he, now mm. uh, kuna mtu atajiuliza because mm. nikiangalia career mm. ilikuwa four years in six months one year mm. two years what if someone anaweza kuanelea feeling kwamba kulikuwa na indiscipline cases that is why maybe ulikuwa na move sana uh in discipline cases na depends in discipline cases kwa kwa ni nini na mimi naweza sema kwa hizo timu zote nimecheza number one, mm-hmm. apart from sofa parka hiyo nakwambia uvuchwa the bridge contract 
hakuna team nilichujua at the following players were were dropped eh uh, wiki kasa hakuna from red beret to bandari ilikuwa resignation mm. red beret ime, imechujua nikaenda bandari bandari nilikuwa na contract ya 6 months renewable mm. na nilikuwa na renew wa survive and it was on my contract waka kwa relegated so which means according to the contract nilikuwa ni renew wa survive mm. wasipo survive nilikuwa ni tafute team eh hey. thank god nikapata gor gor ni sign two years after one year sikukuwa na cheza yet i i, I want to really need to get a cheza mana mimi kaka kwa bench ni sign ni kaka kwa bench ah ah mimi nataka kucheza na nilika chini na coach longa we <coughs> a very good setting akaambia you still young you need to play you need more playing time mm. Uh, si ni kikutumia niko na jeri hizi machua niko na mapunda hizi machua mm-hmm. so ufanya hivi mimi ndio kurelease bora akutia so ni doyo yote mm-hmm. yote ada running contract now bro football mm-hmm. ni kitu mecheza and i'm sure ume benefit from it mm-hmm. at a personal level but uh, currently football in kenya many will say that it's dead mm-hmm. what do you think Um, to be sincere pia <laughs> mimi kwa many will say it's dead mm. one because uh, there's no motivation uh, right now to go suspended na, na federation mm. which basically means hata kuna tu kucheza friendly hapo nje ni ngumu that is one two we don't have sponsors apart from corporate teams as well na wanaweza wanajiza support the clubs players wapate kidogo other community teams are struggling na it is so unfortunate that uh, all this is because of power angles so to say na vile wanasema is a file wa mpigana nyasi ndio naumia sasa hizo wachezaji wanaumia na nipo umenilizo swali na mimi nasema tu kwa hii platform because maybe sitapata platform nyingine kubwa kai that uh, it is high time kefo wa mke na waze kufaitia players kwa situma situma santos jerry tokeni mazemo waze kufaita players mm. players wanateseka hapa players hawana voice yetu mimi vile niambia we are the starting mm. tokeni pia nyinyi kuna na see sasa hizi mazee kuna power watu wana fight juu ya fkwe juu nini juu ya government sijui yani mmecheza league the whole season mm. only to be told by them bro hata kuna kitu mmefanya mimi ndio ndio kucheza kafu Juzi tumeona Simba ikichapa timu ya UG ya girls. Yet that title defending champions Vega Queens we are not there. Mimi mm. nilikuwa so much disappointed. Yes at least I was happy because my friend Aquino was a, a, a man of the match na she really played but now coming back home Vega Queens were not there. We have so many teams. Mm. Na because of that manzi wachezaji tunaumia. So kefwa I believe mko hapo na purpose. Mimi kujeni juu. Wachezaji wanateseka hapo. Sasa ligi ni nakuanza. Mimi nacheza who is running in the league. Like manzi bro football iko pabaya. Football iko pabaya. Na kama kuna stakeholders, manzi president or whoever is going to be there, manzi it is time to tushikane wachezaji, wadau, media. Sio ndio tu try kuinua hii kitu. Because hii kitu kila mtu ikiwapoa kila mtu anasikia poa. Na kwamba zidi kwa FC Little mtukiwa na mimi kila mtu from mtu anatupikia from mtu anabeba ball from my fans everybody was enjoying right now everybody is crying the most affected the players they cannot show easy uh, show their talent hawezi onekana hakuna excuse hata live games so mazijo if we can come together to to salvage hii kidogo iko Awa tumaze pa wangri na nini kama ni chini let's come to the round table let's agree let's disagree to agree for the sake of football yeah na fifa pia jo mtu rumie jo <laughs> fifa tu rumie eh ni noma lakini watu wanaweza kusaidia ni kefu mm. yes and if uh, uh, ni kurichenjwa kidogo mm. where did where do you think the rain started beating us he mess he mess yote imetoka to be sincere when uh, when you refuse to bring all the stakeholders in the same table and you want to do it on your own i won't name names but the moment you start dictating so to say refusing to listen to the media 
refusing to listen to the players, refusing to listen to, listen to the stakeholders, the people who are involved in this football. Mazi, that is where we go wrong. We create any dictatorship. We create any pamoja to skizani, to tafanyaji. How do we help? Where do we take it from here? That is the government, that is the federation, that is the media, that is the players. England the round table. To kaichini to lewaniniaji. So for me, I still, the, the, the rain started beating us the moment. And rather than sharing the cake, taking the whole cake to yourself. That is what I think. That is my own personal opinion. Which is so unfortunate because you took the whole cake. Right now, everyone is suffering. Why? Because you won't put the cake on the table, share it equally. Sweet to cool. I've heard you talk about Kefwa, and where is the voice of uh, former football players, the legends? At Waoni, at Waski, hey. what is what happened? Because now, where do you even start? Where do you even start? Now, what could you do? Maybe you can be believing in the word. The Bible says in this book of Psalms, chapter 133, from verse 1. How good and how pleasant it is when brothers and sisters dwell together in love and in unity. Then underline the word unity. Manzi Ukisomovas Ikendelea that that is where the Lord commands his blessing. Kama kuna unity, manzi good at a commander blessing. But as long as there's no unity, I tell blessing it for hard part. So uh, I ask the legends, uh, the former players, Naskakuna ex internationals, it does not matter. Every strong uh, stakeholder, let's, let's come together, let's put our ideas together. To need to salvage Ibo Lodge, to need to talk about the next generation. We call them to Fabrigas, now I need to chase a ball. And as long as things are not clear, Mr. Kifabibas and Grau, what you are saying, what I mean in support are saying, because there's nothing to smile about our football. Yeah, there's nothing to smile. Now, what what next for Kasaya? Are we expecting to see you maybe coaching, football leadership, mentorship? What next? Um, right now, I'm um, in a missionary group from Global Surge International, all the way from Philippines. They have a group called Hoop Heavens. Uh, Hoop Heavens, sana sana saizi ya na Bangkok, Thailand. That is where, that is the group I've been working with, training the young kids in Thailand, but at the same time spreading the gospel. The same group are willing to do that even here in Kenya, but later on. So my plans is uh, uh, later on when things are back to normal, mm -hmm. uh, I might bring them here in Kenya as they spread the word and they try to identify the talents. Because to them is trying to identify talents and train them and mentor them and make sure that these young boys are turning up to be uh, uh, respected people of the society. Mm -hmm. So for me right now is more about, I'm a more of missionary, but uh, inclined to football. Mm -hmm. So now I mentor and you are trained to me the experience that I have in football mm -hmm. just to spread the gospel of God. Mm. Mm. I think Mtazamaji uh, Meskia na on your hal. It's not a very good thing that uh, our the game we love most, Iko Mali Iko, but uh, as we always say, the buzz it is what it is and uh, Without the unity Kasai is talking about, I don't think uh, we are going to get out of this mm. very, very soon. Mm. So, um, before to Malize, Nikona Maswalitano Kwako, Na Kwaizi Maswalitano, you only choose one. Yes. And you must choose. <laughs> you must choose. I don't like your pass. Uh -huh. So, question number one Arsenal uh -huh. or Manu? Arsenal. Arsenal. <laughs> Question number two, Gormahia mm. or FC Nepal? Oh, wow. Upon a goon. Upon a goon. What have you to Roy Quaffy? What have you to Roy Quaffy now to Malaysia history? Upon a 50 50. School sister could have had a 50 50. Because I know my fans, but the team itself, yeah. the team itself, me 50 50, 50 FC, 50 Gore. Says it's a man, 100 percent to command 50 50. Size 8, I'm a real. 
So is it your gospel artist? <laughs> because I I represent the gospel. Nani, she's also a pastor, yes. Dennis Oliet or Michael Cot. Ah, Dennis Oliet all the way. Because ni mecheza ne, my coach says ne, but ni mo na kicheza from a goalkeeper to striker. For me, Dennis Oliet, top striker, my all-time favorite striker. My last question: Matthew Otomax, I'm a Francis Onyeso. Eish, you na juu. Ah, Otomax. Otomax. Yeah, my role model, my kind of playing style. Playing style ya muli tawako. Le ya madoi do mambo ya mbema hanga. Mavu tu manini. Study na furaia, wanenda yomo wa menjoy ball. Auto max ni besti yako? Mbaya. Auto max ni besti yangu mbaya. Ame kuwa pia kochu wangu. Jamaro Safi. Nikiwa national team. Nikiwa national team na Bob Williamson. Yo ina likuwa kochu wetu. Yes. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Mtuwa starehe. So na juu kitu tu mko different ni kwamba wewe Sunday unaendanga church yeye Sunday analala Anyway bro let me appreciate for honoring our invitation and thanks for sharing with us your story we really humbled and zidi kutuombea mazee it's not easy na juu hata producer wangu pale i don't remember the last time alienda church so we really need a lot of a lot of a lot of prayers. Yeah. And uh, to those guys before we even finish in our previous post maze kuna watu walenda pale kwa comments just shout shout outs kuna Imelda Tala thank you so much. Sheila Univa ambaye anaitwa Rembo Junior thank you so much. Pamela Juma Utieno asante sana. Steven Odiambo asante. George Gichaba asante sana. Lucia Peter asante. Steven Odiambo alikuwa trainer wangu JCU. Steven Odiambo. Mm. Oh nice. Mm. Uh, Evelyn Eva, thank you so much. Kuna Beril Monique, ambaye tushawe mfanyia story. Asante mm -hmm. sana Beril. Kiare Mbugo, unajua Kiare? Mm -hmm. Officer, we ni officer. Mm -hmm. eh, Yama Rosafi sana, Rosafi. Mana sumbua. Ana Rosafi. <laughs> Yama mpua sana. Wini yeah. kitinji. Asante uh, sana Bernard Mamati, thank you so much. Kuna Wilson, kuna Jackson, kuna Monica Kinyi. Kuna Ken West. Mm -hmm. mm, Yama atari sana huyu. Then kuna Margaret Sach. Sasha Nechesa. Sisi mm. soma wote maze for the few I've mentioned. Thank you so much. Keep supporting us. Kiona tu video yetu ime drop. Kindly share. So uneza sema kitu kabla tumalize? Kindly do. <laughs> uh, Yami ni kusema thank you. Thank you for the time. Thank you for giving me this platform. Na as we've said, uh, very few people are giving ex-players such platforms. Na even sharing my story, I just pray that someone is going to be blessed somewhere. Manze, it is not over until it's over. Uh, as we keep on doing this, my prayer is God is going to bless this platform, Amen. to bless people. Uh, Manze could transform lives. Now, whatever you're doing, uh, I've watched your story, you know, story of woman, you know, story of burial. I've seen it. Manze, God, I bless the platform, I bless Sana, of Nguli Milango, Iku Ikubwa. Now, one day, one time, to say, because of such platforms, our football grew. Na tunile kusupport local football. For the fans, mazi tusi give up. I know things are hard, things are tough, but we have to keep on keeping on. Bale tunile kuomba that all is gonna be well. That maybe the next government, who knows, the next government ita treasure football, ita treasure sportsmen. And ita kuwa for the good of all of us. Uki uki ni kubwa, tuwezi maliza wote. Na kila mbeo kipata kibogo, tunenjoy. Na mbeo da wabile sana, Moshe. Amen. Amen.